All right, this is morning one. Um, we're going to simply record the miles per gallon on a city drive to work. Uh, I got about a 35 minute drive to work. I go about 70 miles an hour and a good long straightaway to test it on. So, here we go. okay, we're almost to the straightaway. Uh, I've gone ahead and reset my mileage. Uh, once I once I get going straight here, I'm going to reset the uh, miles per gallon. Um, right now, I'm using high test and it's got 10% ethanol which as we know is not good for the car less ethanol is better and ethanol leaves all kinds of bad stuff stuck in the car all right we're up to cruising speed for this test we're going to be going 75 the entire way and I will reset all right so we're going to cruise first like we've gone about 12.6 miles and looks like it's been exactly 17.4 average miles per gallon that's on cruise control at 75 control test one over all right we're on day two we have uh, two ounces of xylene plus a couple drops of acetone uh, control test two all right day two Approaching speed of 75 miles an hour. Cruise control is on. Now. And mileage reset. Not looking too good so far, huh? <laughs> 14 miles per gallon. No, I just started up. Uh, we'll check back here in a few miles. About, uh, we're about halfway through right now. It looks like I'm sitting at about 18.5 miles to the gallon, 18.3. Of course, I'm hitting the uphill part right now, so it's dropping. Uh, I did notice a spike um, about two minutes ago, and I, it reminded me I probably should have run the engine for a few miles before I did the test to get the old gas out and the new mixed gas in. Um, I might have to run the control again next, next time, but uh, I'll show you these findings anyway. Uh, I'll show you here in another couple minutes. Okay, looks like we've come down to the end of it. Um, I'm sitting at 18.5 miles to the gallon, and I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure what I was at yesterday, but uh, same spot right across the bridge, 18.5 uh, miles per gallon. I'll do the calculations when I get home what the difference is, uh, but um, it should be. Sounds like it's right around about five to eight percent, which is actually a pretty good increase. Uh, like I said, I, I started off with, a, with the old mixture in my fuel line, so I probably had to go about 5 to 10 miles to get that out and the new mixture in, which I did notice a difference about halfway through. Um, I'm going to let you notice here in a few minutes if I got any power uh, power differences or, or horsepower difference, or if I can feel anything in the actual city part of my drive in a second. I just wanted to show this, 16.1 uh, miles to the gallon. Um, of course, I'm going nowhere right now, and it's dropping. But uh, this was just my driving around town uh, for my day job. This right here is typically right about 13.9, 14.2. Uh, considerable difference for, for stop and go gas mileage. Considerable difference. I did want to mention one, one thing real quick. Um, one notice that I've noticed right away is I do have a little more get up and go from start or from stop to start. Uh, another major thing that I'm noticing is my car is very, very quiet. I mean, I, if you listen right now, you can't even hear the engine. Of course, I can hear the other car's engine, but I can't hear mine. Um, that's, uh, that's a pretty significant difference, simply of the sound. And this is a, this is a big V8. Alright, this is the uh, end of day two. I'm actually heading home, and I'm getting some interesting readings. Uh, readings I typically don't ever see anything above 20 miles per gallon, even if I'm just coasting. 21.2 uh, right now, um, averaging 65 to 75 miles per hour, um, and it's still going up. So.
show this because I don't think this car has ever reached 23 miles per gallon. V8, 5.8 liter. About halfway home. All right, here we are. Uh, I'm almost home. Um, got a little bit left, but not much. Uh, right now, we're looking at 23.6 miles to the gallon. Uh, I can safely say this car has never, never seen that, ever. Uh, and that was through stop and go traffic on my way home. Uh, typically, I get about 16.1 miles to the gallon um, on my test runs for that exact same drive. Um, it's been slowly creeping up. Matter of fact, it wouldn't surprise me if I'm if I'm able to get up a little bit higher. There it goes again. Uh, I almost hit 24 miles to the gallon uh, simply with this with with this additive. Um, I'm going to do a little more research. I'm going to run the numbers and uh, put this all together when I get home. Let's see if we can get 20, 23.8. Come on, 23.8. 23.8. You can do it. There it is, guys. All right, we've, uh, we've done our tests. Um, what we're looking at is day one, the end of day. Uh, as measured on the screen was 17.4. By the time I actually pulled in the driveway, it was, it was about 18.1 um, miles a gallon. That was a total of about 24 miles, about uh, 12 and a half miles each way. Um, my city was normally measured at different, doing uh, three different days, was uh, 14.7 miles after three different days. It went as low as 13.9, as high as about 15.5, uh, but it averaged out to be about 14.7 city miles per day without the added mixture. Um, after today's numbers, um, we are looking at a, at a, a decent increase. Um, let me get back to it here. Uh, what we're looking at uh, on the drive there, rather than getting 17.4, I got 18.5. Uh, I do believe that some of the old gas was still in the car, uh, so the fuel lines hadn't quite uh, cleared out yet until I got about halfway there, because as, as soon as I got about halfway through my trip, I saw my, my uh, uh, mileage per, uh, per gallon meter just start taking off going, going up or the other direction, almost a, a full three uh, miles per gallon, about two, 2.7 miles per gallon in a matter of, of three minutes. Um, so what we looked at today was about 18.5 on the drive there, but I'm going to throw that one out because I believe about half the drive was on the old gas. Uh, what I'm going to look at is basically the end of day totals. Uh, same trip, same mileage, same, same direction, and same times uh, pushing the, uh, the uh, cruise control. Uh, what we are looking at today was a total of 23.8 miles per gallon for the entire trip. Um, that's, that's not happened. Uh, typically my car runs, uh, usually even, even driving with a light foot, you know, coasting into the downhills, uh, even doing all of that stuff, trying to spare gas mileage. Uh, my end of day is right around 19 max. 18.8 uh, usually is, is a good number. Um, so 18.5. 23.8 today. Um, what that comes out to be is 18.5 minus 23 equals 5.2. Uh, 5.2 or, or 18.5 divided by 5.2 comes out to be 35.57% uh, more gas mileage out of a single tank of gas. Uh, that is simply adding the additive that uh, you can buy in your everyday store. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit more experimentation. I'm going to mix uh, a little bit more acetone. I'm going to go up to about three ounces per 10 gallons. Uh, I'm going to give you the, the exact mixtures and all of that stuff on another update, but this was just control tests. Um, by the way, I hope this has been helpful. Uh, you guys got to see me in my monkey suit. Uh, this is actually my work clothes. You can see me in my relaxed clothes and all my other movies, which I'm getting ready to get into. Uh, but if you could, don't forget to rate. Uh, if you'd like to see more, which I'll be doing about three more on this exact subject, I do want to do a few more tests before I actually get out the, the, the final recipe. But um, uh, definitely check back for that. Subscribe right over here. Um, Leave messages in the blog, uh, comment, and I'll answer anything I can. All right, hope this has been helpful, guys. Look for more.